everyone. Start today's video off early, 5.39 in the cave. I've been out here since 4.30, rigging up some stuff, putting on fresh monofilament on the Twitch so we can do some toppy tops. I have not been out early morning on the water uh, since top water started to get good. I, I wanna see what's going on out there on the lake. Just first couple hours of the day and I am hoping that some white bass erupt. Anyway, that's a long explanation. Let's do a quick uh, chicken check. Just getting my little bowl of cereal here. Little fruity bowl of cereal in in the cave. Already had my uh, my morning juice right there. Arrows are drying that I've stained over there. You know, this is just this is what we got going on here, folks. Chicks are growing by the minute. Growing by the minute, isn't that right? Isn't that right, little buddy? Little blue beller. Uh, by far the sweetest, the sweetest chicks. These these little frizzle chickens, man. They will actually let you. Usually, yeah, they'll let you uh, pet them. This ostrilorp here, this black ostrilorp, he's uh, or ostrilop. Uh, she, I should say, pretty friendly as well. The uh, the, the blue eggers, mm, not so much. And little Polish buddy, he's he's just a little tidy man. He's trying to figure things out. Whoa, dude, where are you going? Where are you going? Don't leave the safety of the, the can. Okay, I need to finish my cereal so we can get out there, get a little sunrise action. Mm. <laughs> Card. This is the loudest thing ever. And I have a park Please pass. Wait until the gate is fully open. And it doesn't work. Oh, city of Louisville. Can we just go back to the ways where there's like a, a human there and you just give them your actual pass where they see your sticker on your truck that you paid for? I've had to pay three times. Anyway, got that out of my system. All right, got some boats in the parking lot. It's always good. Please, Lord, let there be just a little bit of topwater supple today. Just want to hear it. Ooh, I smell that shad. And by the ramp, it's all the flickerings of the shad spawn. So if you guys look really closely here, you can see that there are shad just getting all over these little bushes and they're spawning their eggs on these bushes. I'm missing out on good casting time here to document this, so make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Unfortunately, I'm just not seeing the busters. I'm throwing a blooper right now. Uh, 15 pound test, Fit our 15 pound mono, I should say. I've got a loop knot tied on the front of that to give it a little extra waggle up front. I mean, just blooped by that lay down there. No response, not seeing any pops. Shad are all up in here, not seeing any pops, so it's not what we want. We only have precious minutes until this thing is over. Getting out every top water known to man right now. Buzzbait, frog, popper. Oh, I got, uh, had a fish. Look at this fish, this must be a white bass. Just had a white bass literally like nudge, nudged my bait. Gyrated me. There he is. There you are. There you are. Where you been all my morning, huh? Ooh, you look like a hybrid. You are a hybrid, man. That's what you are. Ooh. Maybe a freshly stocked one. 
Yeah, they're going extra crazy. Let them go. They're extra feisty. Extra feisty fun. The movers and the shakers. Got one. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, the old bent rod. Pretty good eater. Actually need to keep a few of these little tasty boys for a new batter that we've got going on that I need to try. Oh yeah, bring in the school with me. Bring in the school. Live scope, live scope, live scope. Little boy, little boy. Oh gosh, just oh man. Oh look at the globules that just came into the scene here. I like knowing exactly where these fish are using the live scope. That's pretty fun to watch them move. Ooh, oh, goodness. oh, yeah. Oh, oh, two at a time. Two at a time. Get another one. Get another one. Almost. Now, if I went down a size on this banger, it would probably be every cast. But I'm looking for some girth. I got either some tasty crops or some bass located on a little stick offshore. This is totally not what I was expecting to do. I'm just randomly fishing what comes into the frame. They're darting around a little more than either like active crappie or smaller bass. All right, those got to be crappie. They didn't react, so need some crappie. Let's see if we can get a couple of tasty ones to try out this new batter. Here we go. Ooh, that's a good crappie. Come here. Again. That might have been the biggest one down there. But there's a the school that kind of pushed off. Mm. Oh, Lordy. Oh, gosh. Ah. Thumped it. My reel came off my. Thing came off my reel. Oh, come get it. Got him. That was a good one. Watched him come grab it. Ah, I thought you were bigger. You're not even gonna make the cut. Yeah. Get out of here. Mm. No, sir. The other one 
are small. Oh, oh my gosh, big one came up. Come on, grab it. Oh, God, I had him on. That's a good one. Too far away from his tree, though. Ah. Mm. Rock crappie. Just bouncing on the rocks down there. I have never fished this way for crappie. This is kind of interesting. Just kind of hanging on these uh, isolated rocks. Definitely an eater. Try a little something here. Put one of these swim heads on here. See what we can do with that. Hang on a second. Take a smidge off the top. That is going to be tasty morsel right there Whew. so one of my recent crappie videos i was throwing these little micro swim baits just on a 16th ounce up in the dirt now that these crappie on this lake are moving offshore they usually they like a swinging type action right when they move off so you pitch it out about 10 feet in front of them 15 20 feet Maybe, you know, 20, 30 if they're, it's a little clearer, but you pitch it out and let it swing into them and they're more active right after the spawn. When it gets really hot in the summer, they'll kind of slow down off of that. You got to get right on top of them. Swallowed it, bud. He's down his atch. This is really interesting to me because I've never, I've never approached crappie uh, on rocks like this. It's either like up shallow or brush. And uh, this is this is something new for me. So fun little discovery. And these crappie are just kind of on these isolated chunk rocks and boulders. You can see some sitting just on that back side right there. I can't believe my GoPro wasn't recording for that bite, but this is a giant. Oh, golly. That was one of those ones I missed right there. Just an absolute slab. Look at that. Toad crappie, guys. I just got right on top of the boulder, did the old straight dangle on him. That little bug, I mean, it thumped it. It was so big, I thought it was a bass. Okay, it is a flotilla out here. A little pro tip for you guys. You get on a big school of fish, don't put that rod tip up in the air and start really getting that bend going, okay? I'm not saying I've done this today, but it has ha it's obviously happened out on the water today. Some of it's birds, people follow the birds. You start bending that rod, people, they're peeping. They're peeping out there, they're looking. And they say, oh, okay, that's where they're at. And they just come right on over. It's amazing. 
It's amazing. You'll be fishing a spot and you turn around, you know, and you got one on and that, that engine's fired up coming your way. So, you know, I don't know what's going on. The white bass aren't exploding at the top. They're under the surface. Normally they're exploding on top. Everybody knows to there. You just run over there, but they're being a little sneaky today. You're getting them going. You keep that, you keep that rod just straight, just straight till you get to the boat. Just kind of, just kind of just flip it in real, real subtle like, okay? There's hardly any secrets in fishing anymore. You gotta keep something sacred. Back at the treehouse. I never got my top water that I was looking for. Got up so early, went all the way out there, was expecting explosions, suctions, bass, white bass, I don't care. What did I end up doing? Um, slightly offshore fishing for crappie. Because the tug is the drug, and no matter how you get it, it's gotta be done. Got the old raffle here. Uh, by the way, someone asked me, they sent me an email about because uh, I did a video on the Bubba Blade fillet knife that uh, I used it and I was just cutting through a lot of the fish like cutting through the spine it was just so uh, so aggressive it was like a chainsaw and I went and I got a new blade for my Rapala I gave that Bubba Blade away uh, it's a good knife it's just like it was it wasn't working for me um, I got one of these it's non-stick blades he's like it was like eight bucks for a replacement pair on this uh just standard rapala uh, plug-in and uh i love it i mean it just, it's it's perfect for crappie white bass you know normally i like to put these on ice but i didn't even do that today i came straight to the house osg is inside she is cooking up a little uh kind of summery vegetable mix like with some tomatoes and some uh, cilantro and some, just some fresh vegetable ingredients and we're actually going to cook these for lunch and try out some of the new uh, the new batter so i've been going through a few different samples of the batter for uh guggen something we're going to come out with this is a, a new spicy one that I haven't tried, so nice. Nice fillets, we put them in that ice cold water. It's a female right here. She's still got eggs. That's crazy. She's still got eggs. You know, normally my old chickens, they would lap this up. I have no idea if the new ones are gonna eat it. I'll give it to them just a second. On these bigger ones, you always want to make sure you get that extra little little belly meat right there. The little ones, it, it's not very much, but on the big ones, it do a bunch of them, it makes a difference. Mr. Penny, you want to give it a shot? They're curious, but they don't know. I'm just not sure. Okay, I'm going to throw it right there for you. Try that. Tell me what you think. Fresh fish eggs come on yeah give it a slurp don't just pick at it get after it there you go still looking at uh, the names but I'm leaning towards Colonel Sanders on this guy OSG has made some fresh summery mixture of tomato cilantro red onion hey you're not doing your job in there Supposed to keep these kids quiet while I'm filming. When I say quiet on the set, dad means business. I'm about to go get in my leather chair and rule this kingdom. This is satire, folks. This is kidding. We are going to be doing a fry, but I'm doing something different that I haven't done before. I saw a, a, fr a friend's dad do this, and it was awesome. Uh, I like the way he did it. He split half butter, half oil when doing his fry, and it really turned out nice. Um, so also, something new, we've got, the, we've got a new flavor here that we're working on. So this is spicy fish batter version, uh, version two. This concoction right here, uh, one of you guys sent me, and uh, this is cool, this is like a, a fish batter, 
Fish powder? Is that a thing? Cook us a fish in a pan. Timmy, why are you pushing me? Why are you, why are you pushing daddy, huh? Why are you always beating up on me? You like beating up on me? Uh-huh. Is that fun? Yeah. I think that's... It's only for love power. Part of the job description. And, uh, I think this is probably three quarters butter, quarter oil. Yeah, this stuff's probably terrible for you. Canola, but what are you gonna do? We're all gonna go someday. I'm gonna put the fish just right on top of the spice in this contraption. You will see. All right. Put the other fillet just like that. Okay, and we're gonna put our lid on top, and then the other side. And watch this magic. Flip it. Shake off the excess. Mm. And then they turn out so beautiful. Look at that, man. How dare you. Shake it, shake it like a salt shaker. All right, good job, I think you did a good one. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Very nice. You put some ice on it. Runs in the family. Had a little piece break on me, but otherwise, looks pretty solid. Taste your piece. Spicy. That one has a spice. You would not like that one, but Daddy likes it. That's good. Version two, more spicy, less salt. I'm all about it. We'll see what OSG thinks. You're putting a sticker on me? Uh, a butt. Yeah. You just said butt? I thought you were supposed to say bum. That's what you always tell me when I say butt. You say dad, you're supposed to say bum. But. We're experiencing this first on camera. What? Daughter saying butt for the first time. All right, Amy, you got your golden crispy, I got ours. <laughs> We'll put, uh, pair it with OSG's beautiful summer veg mix over here with some avocado. Ooh. I'm pretty sensitive to spice too, so we'll just see here. Mm. You can good. smell the kitchen. It's like mm -hmm. heavy cayenne. Mm -hmm. No, I'd say more paprika. Mm. You cooked it good. Yeah? It's light. It's not like a... Oh, it is a little spicy. I've only, yeah, it is spicy on, on the tail in there. Mm, but know. it's soft. Put it, uh, you know, that's a fresh crappie, so there's nothing better. Oh my gosh, that is good. Yeah. Go, put that with like a nice cold beer. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's too spicy. Okay, that's and good. And I'm pretty sensitive to spice. I, well, I only had an end piece, which was like concentrated. Mm. And uh, that, that uh, thing that I used, that... Um, I forget who gave us this. They sent it in. Mm -hmm. it that thing coats them really well. So yeah. there's a little extra than, than normal. That that's good. That's so you ketchup? like you like the flavor. Oh. Okay. That was good. Frosty beverage recommendation um, that I've recently had, and I was like, uh, I got it in a variety pack, and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Shiner Bach, big fan of the Shiner Brewery. Being a Texan and living in Central Texas for many years, but besides that, they make great beer. The uh, Weiss and Easy was it a raspberry beer? You're a big fan of that raspberry one, which I'll say it was good. Whoa! But I would have never thought you'd be a fan of that. Uh, one. Yeah, yeah, no, I am. I am. I, what I thought was it'd be the perfect summer boat beer. You I know? think you originally got it from me, and then you're like, wait a minute, I'm going to take these back. Better than a White Claw. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'll give those to Steph. I ended up drinking them all. <laughs> I think I have one. <laughs> so, sorry about it. This deserves a hard focus. Just perfectly crusted. Yummy, Dad. You like it? 
I tried mac and cheese. You tried mac and cheese? Well, try your crappie. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Yeah. It's delicious. You don't get that very often. It's one of my favorite things in the world right here. Mm. Like, this is not the best for you. But you just take one of these. And then one of these. And it's, it's pure America. I love it. Oh, God bless the crappies. That is gonna do it for today's vlog, Fishing Freaks. That crappie was insane. I, I would rate that one of the best uh, fried crappies I've ever had. It wasn't like a full fry. Uh, it was a pan fry, but pretty amazing. So, I mean, there's nothing better than fresh caught crappie. I'm still waiting for the white bass to get fully exited from the pockets and the creeks. Right now they're still falling, the shad spawn, and the water's heating up. They're starting to go main lake, and when they go full blow, grouped up, I wanna get um, a Stephanie, well, a Stephanie, but I wanna get um, Emmy out there and let her experience that action. You know, that's how I caught my first fish. Uh, I was three years old white bass fishing with my dad. I mean, I was just on the boat. Um, I had a little Snoopy pole and the school erupted and they came up all around the boat and I was able to catch one on a little shiny thing I had tied on. Amy's three years old. She'll be four uh, at the end of summer. And so I, I think it's time. I think it's time for her to experience that. She's gotten pretty good with her little Moana pole. So I really, I'm excited about making that video. It's coming up soon. Incredibly hot. I mean, fish are going to be moving offshore like crazy this month. So, I mean, a matter of weeks. But thank you guys, as always, for joining me in the great outdoors and here at home at the treehouse. Uh, Godspeed. God bless you. I will see you on the next video.